Hello, my name is Brian Oski. And I'm Austin Morales, and you're watching The Inner Gamer On. And today we'll be talking about the PlayStation VR 2. It is going to have 4K eye tracking and haptic feedback, potentially. And sources say this is all true. So we're going to talk about what that means for the new headset. Are we excited about it and all that and much, much more? Let's jump on in. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, and bang that bell, because you know you want to. Thank you. Brett's a DJ. Yeah. Okay. Subscribe for Brett. We're going to talk about some VR. You know what I mean? Please. Why not? Talk about it. Let's talk about some VR. So there was a, a report that just came out. Now, we recently talked about that PlayStation has confirmed that PSVR 2 is in development. And <clears throat> recent cool sources... Yes, with cool controllers. Recent sources have come out and said that there might be more details that have emerged. Uh, one crazy. of which is that the new headset could likely include 4,000 by 2040 pixel resolution, which is 4K, 2,000 by 2040 per eye. In comparison, wow. Oculus Quest 2 is 1832 by 1920. So this is uh, a little bit bigger, or a little bit better resolution, a little bit clearer. And... Uh, they're going to have gaze tracking and a lens separation adjustment detail that is available on the Valve Index headset. And mm. they also are going to have eye tracking that will allow for foveated rendering, whatever this means, but it's a technique that allows VR, how do you pronounce that? A technique that allows VR experiences to reduce the quality of rendering and players' peripheral vision, which I think is really interesting because I don't know how, if you remember in your HTC Vive when you use that, but like, I feel like the periphery is where it does get a little bit more blurry, a little bit harder oh, to yeah. see things. I agree there. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what this feature does. Um, and then also, also they're going to have haptic feedback, which suggests that there's going to be a motor in the headset that would also complement the headset's new controllers, which also have haptic feedback. So they're going to have it both in your head and oh. your hands. That's trippy. That's a little weird. I know, might be, I don't know if I like that shakiness on my brain, you know what I mean? <laughs> In your brain? Yep, might be a little dis discomforting, but uh, who knows, right. we'll see. Right. Um, right. And then also still Down reporting that. that it's going to be a single connector with USB-C to the console. So I hope it's connector in the front, not the back, because if I have to connect it to the back, that's going to get kind of annoying. But I want to use that USB-C in the front that doesn't get any, any um, support right now. I gotcha. So, so yeah, um, as we mentioned, the, as we mentioned before, the controllers look really cool. Um, definitely a step up from what they've done previously. And oh, yeah. uh, with 4K and haptic feedback in the headset and the eye tracking stuff, it, the only thing is I wish it was still tetherless. But otherwise, yeah, like, can't what are your thoughts? Everything. No, I mean, I think they're going in a good direction. They're really trying to up their game because they need it. The last one was good at the time, but... Just like the Vive, like it quickly fell off as being something worthy of having. Like I don't even want to jump into VR now. Like if I, I kind of want to get the um, what do you call it, the Quest now. Like I just want to see how it plays. Yeah, just wait for the Quest three. I mean, I know how it plays, this year. but was that <laughs> just wait for the Quest three when it comes out this year? I'm sure they're going to bring yeah, another yeah. one. Freaking <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. There. It's like it's going to get better, and I, I want that because it's tetherless, and I can put it on. And there's I, I found this cool RPG game on Steam. Where it's dungeon diving and you can oh. have four players in the same room. Oh. Play like looking down at a dungeon and then like oh. rolling dice and doing all this stuff. And I'm like, this what? is Yeah. I was like, this is what I want. I want to get a headset just to play that game now. Wait, what's this game called? Uh let me see. I have to find it for you. Damn. Dungeon Crawl. I know I think I said it to Travis. VR. This sounds amazing. It is amazing. Demio? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Okay. Demio. Let me look further. Demio. It is also on the Oculus Quest. Fuck yeah. So I'm oh, talking yeah, of about. course it would. Well, you mentioned Steam. I was like, shit, I hope it's on Oculus Quest. Because sometimes, like, I thought you could Steam, do Steam, you can, you do but you ways. have to be tethered if you're playing on uh, Steam. So oh, I see, I see, I if see. it's on like the Quest store itself, then I can play Untethered and have a magical magical time. I see. 
Wow, man, it's like freaking tabletop. Man, y'all need to go get yourself a headset. Well, I got to wait now, like you said. No, you got to just do it now. No, <laughs> the, the game has changed, my friend. Okay. The game has right, changed. Right. You must get an out. Game-based game VR game. Oh, my gosh. What is going on here? I have lost. Oh, my gosh. It's got cards and shit, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes, please. Let's do this. Okay. I'm excited now. Demio. I'm going to look that up. Anyway, so PSVR 2 coming soon. I don't know if I finished my thing. Anyway, yeah, like they need that major step up. And as technology progresses exponentially every year, every three months, every six months or whatever, like this is good. I'm just curious what the price is going to be, if they can keep the same price because COVID and supply demands or COVID mess with supply demands and supply demands increasingly get higher and higher because people aren't able to get everything like they used to. And uh, it's not good. Not good. I mean, they're going to have to try and lower the price, honestly, because the Oculus Quest 2 at yeah. $299, they're really going to have to come in under that because you oh, have yeah, to have I a agree. PlayStation 5 to run it. So, like, they need to drop this to, like, $199. If they could even push it to $99, they'd have a solid player on their hands. You know what yeah. I mean? But uh, if they're not able to do that, then it's a little bit of a problem. Right. So we'll see. I am currently looking to purchase this game right now. Even though I don't have anybody to play it with. I wonder if you can yeah. play solo. Can you play solo? I don't know. Probably. It's sitting I don't know why you single be able user to. multiplayer and co op. All right. Okay. Guess what? Confirming purchase. Oh my gosh, you got it. It's happening. Wait, do I have a discount? Do I have a promo code? I need a promo code. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to wait. I'm waiting for my promo code to be uh, That's funny. All right, anyway. 